afternoon guys. We are headed to a uh, police rotation. This one is going to be a little bit different because it's a truck and a trailer. Uh, I believe it was just an arrest so there shouldn't really be any, like, it's not a wreck or anything so there shouldn't be really any cleanup or anything too crazy but they uh, advised that it was a truck pulling a 16 foot uh, normal bumper pull trailer with construction equipment on it. So I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna have to load it. If I'm gonna be able to load the truck and then just pull the trailer on the wheel lift, or if I'm gonna have to load the trailer and wheel lift the truck, uh, should be right off over here somewhere. He said it was a red Dodge. But uh, so it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit different than normal, just because we're hauling two different, two different uh, pieces of equipment here. We got a truck and the trailer, so hopefully it's a the trailer is the size of ball that I have that I can put on my wheel lift so that I can load the load the truck and all the trailer like normal but we will see we're gonna be pulling up here in just a couple minutes here it's just right down the road off in this new little housing development area back over here near Angleton Probably will lift that truck. Yes, so, the keys and stuff with it? Yes. Okay. And, uh, it has a trailer lock. That's what I was just looking at. And the key is is on there. Is okay. On there. Okay. Cool. Because I'm probably gonna have to break them apart. So. Yeah, I figured you needed to. 
cool. All right, I'm gonna start working. Back up a little more. Uh, no, you should be good right right there where you're at. So, uh, I'll go ahead and start working on that. Get it. Okay, so I'm supposed to be keys. Snap my pictures here. There's quite a bit of damage on this thing. Nobody's saying that I damaged their vehicle. It's the, uh, it'll say Central on central. the box there. Okay. okay. The Central Storage 701 South Alaska. That stuff up there. The truck. Set that there. Son. They make y'all wear GoPros now? They don't make this, but I have a YouTube channel, so I record oh, cool, cool stuff like that. So. What's that? You a TikTok? I don't do TikTok. I just pretty much just YouTube, but I've never have gotten the the hang of TikTok. I've tried, but I I never have gotten it. Yep. Already made a little bit. Yeah. It, uh, what's that? Like, uh, what's the pay rate like per views? Um, so, like, you get it's supposed to be like you get 68% of whatever because it's all auction stuff. So, if the say the whoever you the ads are just playing for, say they pay a dollar for that ad, you get 68 cents for that uh, for per view. 
so it, it's really it, it changes it's different it each time it updates which is like daily it it changes um so it's right now i think so it it just kind of depends on how many views you get but like mine blew up pretty quick so it's off the off the feed the views you know oh that's cool so but the more you get the more views you get the more money you can make so it just kind of depends you know how how it's hard to get follows when you start when you start uh yeah putting ads in between the videos though yeah well see i i did i hey, didn't my youtube like the people i follow mm -hmm. most of the people i follow don't put ads on their videos right but there's a there's a few that do and yeah we'll I see don't pay the premium right you know, uh, that that's kind of that's yeah. the you gotta f try to find that happy medium of yeah how many ads you can get in there without losing a bunch of views and stuff so it's you, you gotta you gotta be careful what you what you do you know chance to get up there to get a new cable for it so that I could get that bird's nest off of there. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves is having a messed up winch cable. thing strapped down and then I gotta put the two inch ball on my wheel lift.
do that one. to see how close I am with the yeah, truck I loaded can, Dude, kind of if you could just get me just just kind of close because I can extend that out yeah. you know so if you could just get me close to it and kind of somewhat center you can always adjust the trailer around and I can also swivel the wheel lift a little bit I can always swivel that wheel lift around too if I need to. Yeah. I can I can move that wheel lift too. Yeah, that comes in handy sometimes. Yeah. Oh, because it's still down. Yeah, it's well, the uh, this right here. Oh shit, it did. I had it up a minute ago. There it goes. Then, I think 
figure out which one of these keys it was again. I think it was this one. I'm pretty sure this trailer stolen, man. We just Are can't you? identify it. So is there not a any is there a plate or anything on it? No. No. Uh, nothing at all. Pretty much got it from here. Just gonna throw my chains on it. And we'll be good to go. So, appreciate it, man. I think the chains that normally come on these trailers are normally pretty short. My chains on it. Place on. He says he's pretty sure he's stolen, but he can't find anything on it. So, make it make a different one for it. Okay. That's why I was gonna call and see how you wanted to handle all that. So, uh, got it come over by Shenango Ranch in Angleton. Yeah, it's central. I was a boss man. Trailer and stuff. And I need tow lights. Keys and truck before I forget them. lights on this truck.
Yeah, trailer lights on, safety chains. Appreciate it. Get a little bit of slack in here. We'll be here at the yard shortly to get this thing unloaded. Alright, we are back at our central yard. This thing dropped off here.
tow light that I need to uh, get for this thing. I need to get the transmitter for this thing. Take my wheel lift out a little bit. So that way I can get squared up a little bit. nice things about this new Kenworth the airbags drop enough to where you really don't really have to tilt the bed any like we always did on the International it has it down at an angle enough to where the vehicle kind of stays wanting to roll back off of, you know it keeps the winch tight The International kind of had a little bit of a rake to it. It would, if the, uh, say the vehicle wasn't actually in park or whatever, it would want to roll forward and hit the headache rack. This International the airbags drop on it enough to where it doesn't really want to do that. Keeps it pulled back on the winch, which is why generally you'll see me tilt the bed depending on how the angle is this one you don't really have to put it at such an angle
better days. Got those two unloaded. Go ahead and finish cleaning up the truck here, get my paperwork done, and head on to the next one. Appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all would please go subscribe, like, and share.